and computer as technology, but this has nothing to do with that. So I did a little research on it. Well, this is what I found. Of course, I hope I can memorize it. <clears throat> Rally is basically made of a wood box and four metal strings. By pulling the string, the string vibrates and produces a sound wave. Sound wave passes through a piece of wood called bridge and goes down to the wood box and gets amplified. But let me think. <laughs> okay. On the other hand, by placing your finger at different places on the fingerboard, change the string length, thus change the frequency of the sound wave. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. This is sort of a technology, but I can call it a 16th century technology. But actually, the most fascinating thing that I found was that even the audio system and wave transmission nowadays are still basically based on the same principle of producing and projecting sound. Isn't that cool? <laughs> design. I love its design. I remember when I was little, my mom asked me, would you like to play the violin or the piano? I looked at the giant monster and said to myself, I am not going to lock myself on that bench the whole day. <laughs> this is small and lightweighted. I can play from standing, sitting, or walking. And you know what? The best of all is that if I don't want to practice, I can hide it. <laughs> the violin is very beautiful. Some people relate it as the shape of a lady. But whether like it or not, it's been sold for more than 400 years, and unlike modern stuff, they easily looks dated. But I think it's very personal and unique that, although each violin look pretty similar, that no two violins sound the same, even from the same maker or based on the same model. Entertainment. I love the entertainment. But actually, the instrument itself isn't very entertaining. I mean, when I first got my violin and tried to play around it, it was actually really bad because 
it's not, I not, it sound like the way I heard from other kids. So horrible and so scratchy. So it wasn't entertaining at all. But besides, my brother found this very fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> about greatest violinist Yasha Heifetz. After Mr. Heifetz's concert, a lady came over and complimented, oh, Mr. Heifetz, your violin sounded so great tonight. And Mr. Heifetz was a very cool person, so picked up his violin and said, funny, I don't hear anything. <laughs> and now I realize that it's the musician, we human being, with our great mind, artistic heart, and skill that can change the 16th century technology and a legendary design to a wonderful entertainment. Now, I know why I'm here. I thought I was just gonna be here just to perform, but unexpectedly, I learned and enjoyed much more. <laughs> but, although, 
some of them were quite up there for me. <laughs> like, the multi-dimension stuff. I mean, honestly, I'd be happy enough if I can actually get my two-dimension correct in school. <laughs> but actually, the most impressive thing to me is that, well, actually, I would also like to stand this for all children, is to say thank you to all adults for actually caring for us a lot and to make our future world much better. Thank you.
ideas weren't cherished? What if they carried no importance? Or held no value? There is a place where artistic vision is protected, where inspired design ideas live on to become ultimate driving machines.